Hey guys, welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm action. Today we are playing as ETC. He is free to play this week. So we're going to be playing him. Now, if you're, you know, if you're upset that this little square over here below Vala and next is Air Tool and diagonally left to or north northwest to Uther, uh, don't worry. Sylvanas is going to be on our way. Yes, Sylvanas is going to be the next hero added to the game, and along, along with a new map, the Tomb of the Spider Queen. And there's going to be a lot of changes, changes to the UI, changes to the leveling system. You're going to get a lot more gold when you hit a lot more levels. And if you're level 30 when they make the change, all of the heroes you have will have all their talents. So, like, I have a level 2 Rhaegar who doesn't have all his talents if I'm level... When they make that change, and I'm above level 40, or I'm 40, so I'm above level 30, we'll get all the talents for Rhaegar, no matter what level he is. Alright, today we are on the Cursed Hollow, aka the worst map for me to ever do a video on, because I always lose. But, we are ETC today, we're going to be picking up, hmm, we're going to be picking up Block, that just makes it a little bit more tankier, we... Reduce the first two hero attacks by 50%. Hero basic attacks. And we have two charges that, so we block two times. Our team is Tassadar, Taranda, Nova, ETC, and Sonya. On the enemy team, we have Zeratul, Gazlo, Nova, Osmathan, and Jaina. Ugh. Okay. Um, teams are alright. We do have a support. Three. We have two supports, two damage. Right? And we have, that's a Tassadar? Okay. And then they have damage specialist. They have, they're going to be pushing a lot with Gazlo and Asmodon. But that is no worry. Happy Champions League today. Nova just went into these bushes. My Q ability is a power slide. I slide forth and razzle dazzle them and stun them for one second. My W is a face melt. Basically, I push enemies around in this circle. So we'll use it on Nova right here. Or Zeratul. Okay. Wait, they have Zeratul and Nova? Ah, oh, that's going to be disgusting. At least all their damage. No, nope, Jane is on the team. Okay, I guess both the stealths are going to be laning against me. And we power sliding in and over. Oh, and I E is a face melt. Guitar solo. And basically, we just heal ourselves for 31, 31 health per second for 4 seconds. And then my trait is Rockstar. Whenever I use an ability, I give 20% attack speed for 3 seconds to nearby all alleys. Nearby all alleys. So we're going to just be getting in here. This this lane sucks. I don't want to be in this lane. This is terrible. Some guitar slowly. I mean, I can't get them if they get close enough. Like Nova and just push her back. Ow. Gonna be spamming my guitar solo as much as I can. Just gonna be. Where's oh, Nova? Rawr. I am ETC. I am Murloc. It looks like I'm kind of glad Zeratul left. I'm kind of glad of that. We're gonna be picking up. Um. Why not groupies? We heal nearby allies for 24 health per second every time we use... There's Zeratul. Okay, Zeratul never left. So basically every time nearby allies. So that that means minions too. That's, that's kind of cool. So our guitar solo will heal our friendlies. We'll get that healing. We gotta get that healing is ETC. And then every healing counts. Any healing it helps. So it's all good. It's all good. I also give my minions my Rockstar trait. It only does it for half the duration. There is a talent later on that will allow me to give them the full duration of Rockstar, but we're not going to be taking that because we don't really need it. First Tribute is going to be spawning in the bottom lane, bottom mid of the map. Is that the real Nova? No, okay. Going to be power sliding and trying to get in the way of Zeratul so we can't attack our friendly Nova. Gonna be popping my guitar solo to give us that attack speed bonus. Not gonna be stepping into Gazlo's mine here. And basically, what I'm going to be doing now is taking out these turrets. And I'll be zoning. 
it looks like we do pick up the tribute etc like diablo if i mentioned this in my diablo video etc you want to be body blocking that's what all tanks want to do you want to body block you want to put yourself in between them like i just did with zeratul i probably won't do it very often because i'm not very good at it but i'll try to do it that's something you just want to aim for just tank your minions tank minions and stuff well, you don't have to tank minions if minions can tank minions, but anyway, I don't know. I'm going to stop before I confuse you guys anymore. We are going to be picking up hmm, loudspeakers, basically. We just increase the pushback of our face melt, which is great. It'll keep Zeratul away. It'll keep... We can push Nova further into our team if we have to. next tribute is going to be spawning I won't have any mana unfortunately but I can be a body uh, my team isn't actually responding this one as much as I would like them to Asmodana is creeping in these bushes so is someone there Jaina let me pop my face melt get the healing on our team it looks like the enemy team didn't bother to respond to this one either gonna be focusing down Oswadan. Push him out of here. Now I'm gonna be because Jaina could just run in here and cast a blizzard and we'll destroy everybody. I'm going to be power sliding, but the singularity spike from Oh my goodness. And then there we go. There we go. ETC doing the damage. We did take out both their stealthies, so we don't really have to worry about any ganks for now. We're driving this region orb that Nova forgot to pick up. Toronto did go down to Nova, though, so that was. Oh, we did. We didn't take down. We took down Jaina, and then, oh, it's Jaina. It's the Jaina Nova thing again. Did I make that mistake last time? Did I make that mistake yesterday? I think I did. We're gonna be picking up our heroic ability of stage dive, as we could use as an escape if we wanted to. But mosh pit, especially around these around the tributes and stuff will be pretty good so mosh pit basically what i do is i bust out a guitar solo and cause all the girls to just go wild and take their tops off for me and they'll start dancing to my music around me so there's a little you see the little circle around me it will stun them and cause them to dance l rendering them vulnerable oh my goodness nova just literally j oh, made jana look dumb Oh, I thought she was so confident she caught Nova in that cone of cold. Going to be pushing Nova away. Her singularity, or her whatever thing, precision strike does come out, but it doesn't hit anybody. We do pick up the kills. There are two Jaina and Nova are down for the enemy team. Nova, or Jaina, of course, is just spawning. Asmodan trying to de delay with that globe of annihilation. His red fireball that he just hurls over his head. Now we just curse the enemy team. As you can see, all their minion health is reduced to one. None of the towers work anymore. So this is a great opportune time to push lanes. The ultimate from... Oh, I thought that was like going to kill them. Because I didn't think they had that much health. The ultimate from... That is the ultimate from Osmodon. He summons a bunch of warriors. They last indefinitely unless they're dealt with. Looks like Jaina... Looks like there was a three-person push out from mid lane. It still is. Uh, Nova and Sonya are pushing the bottom keep, so or fort, excuse me. We got Zeratul, Nova, and um, Asmodon lurking in mid lane. Looking to delay. We could duration half. Who, no, really, nobody stuns on the enemy team, really. Uh, Gazlo has a stun, but that can be easily avoided. They want to go for the boss. I will be there. We're going to pick up move speed also is included with our so whenever we use rockstar we give our allies a 20 percent movement speed which could be useful for escaping chasing all that jazz uh sonya you better yeah you better step out there and actually let me tank it please don't die this sonya i beg of you Oh my god, we do pick up the boss, but the curse has subsided. Nova is coming around. Friendly Nova is here. That should be, yep, that should be killing Nova. Oh my.
Nova, really? We just killed the real Nova, and then you triple tap the fake Nova. What a waste of your triple tap. What a waste. Oh my goodness. Gonna be sliding through that, canceling his globe of annihilation, and I'm just gonna be body blocking him. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna allow him to. <laughs> I'm not gonna allow him to escape. Gonna be. There we go. There we go. Not allowing him to escape with that movement speed from our rock star bonus. We're allowing just to body block him out and allow Nova to secure a kill. Looks like um, we should probably get a merc camp. Maybe. <laughs> I don't feel like it, but we should. I just like to stay in lanes. I like that. That's why I like Asmodon and Gazlo. I like actually just pushing, like, especially on these maps where, you know, the main focus isn't sometimes defending. Like, sometimes if I was just in this top lane, I'd push that down that top lane all the way. It looks like, yeah, Zeratul, I'm too tanky for you, bud. We should pick, mm, we could pick up, we can get more, some more healing from Guitar Solo. We can increase the stun to 1.5 seconds on our power slide. We can get Imposing Presence. Uh, I would like to get Imposing Presence. Um, Jaina's attack speed is really good, and she can, um, especially with Zeratul, actually. Zeratul and Nova, their slow attack speed, or a slower attack speed won't help them that much with their DPS, so that's going to be good. And it's always, imposing presence is always good. Especially if you have a basic attack oriented enemy team. Remember the enemies do have to attack me for that imp imposing presence to kick in. Just going to be hitting this wall then heading to the tribute. Do you have a mercenary push with this, tr with this mid lane talk please me. As we do, yep, that, I'll, let, I'll let them do their business. It looks like we will be getting this tribute uncontested as the enemy team is dealing with that boss that we picked up in top lane. Just going to be hitting this wall because remember walls piss me off. And we get more vision. It's then say if we're pushing this lane and we're trying to escape, we don't have to run through this little tiny gap. We have this entire gap to run through. So destroying the walls are pretty good. And I'm just going to step out of that Precision Strike. Precision Strike, I would agree that it is the better talent for Nova, but it's it's a lot harder to catch people in it because it does have that delay. Um, it's good if you place it right on the tribute. You're going to be sliding in on Zeratul and four-person gank on Zeratul. We'll secure the kill. I am caught in Nova's tone of the cold, tanking every damn thing. Going to be face melting away all those minions just so I can get him out of my face. That's why. There is a Gazlo way out of position. I'm going to look to take advantage of this. It looks like Taronda is here as well. Going to be. He does activate his sprint. Sonya does come from the enemy side. And yeah, Gazlo is just running to uh, annoy us basically now. Bam! Just kidding. Hitting him with that face melt. We'll secure the kill on Gazlo. I still haven't used my ultimate. I've been doing that lately. I haven't been using like, when I play Nova, I don't use my ultimates that much. When I played Jaina, I didn't use my ultimate that much. I did use it a little bit. I'm not gonna... Come here, Asmodon. Oh, that's a Jaina now. Don't worry about Taronda. They're not gonna do anything. We got the tribute. We are one tribute away from collecting our second curse of the game. We... This is what I like. This, the quick games. We're not on Garden of Terror over the game last 40 minutes because no one knows how to use the Terror. We are just rocking out. Me and Sonya, gonna be, Sonya and I are going to be pushing this top lane. I, I hope she doesn't leave because these mercenaries just showed up. We can just take them out real quick. Um, there is a fight going somewhere I should be in at. If you pick up a kill on Jaina. Damn it, that wasn't a good... Going. Oh, okay. Asmodan just accepting his death. I appreciate that. And now we're just going to go back and deal with these Merc Camps. Tassadar is here. He should be able to clean these up very nicely, which he does. And we do have a Tribute spawning in the bottom. Jaina and Asmodan are not going to be there for it. So we should get it. Nova and Gazlo are already in position to contest. But oh, they won't be able to handle the power of ETC. Really, are we just going to let them get this? I'm going to get in there and start moshing. Going to start moshing. I'm catching nobody. I'm gonna just cancel that. That is the real Nova right there, Sonya. Damn it. Alright, we're just gonna power slide or face. Guitar soloing. 
something of the matter. Looks like they aren't going to pick up the kill on Sonya, but we do pick up the kill on Zeratul. Get it, Tastar. Mm. We do pick up the kill. Going to be pushing Jaina back and just be body blocking her as much as I can, but I do a very poor job of it. Oh, oh man. ETC. ETC almost picking up the kill on Jaina. So we do have the curse on the enemy team. Two of our five players are down. I got the math right this time. Going to be sliding in on Nova. And then just going to be speeding up. We do pick up the kill. That is the decoy. Hopefully Nova wish she didn't use her triple tap on the decoy this time. And just going to be taking down this lieutenant. This demonic lieutenant. Remember, if you don't know, demonic lieutenants do power up nearby minions. Ow. Jaina, ow. Oh, will they? I'm not gonna, yeah. There was the curse I could have ran in, but I don't think I would have got there anyway to make a difference. We are gonna be pushing down mid lane. Most of our team is here. Tezar does throw down a healing, healing ward, healing totem, whatever they call it. Uh, we can pick up death metal now. We do apply a 25% damage. So basically, Anybody caught in our mosh pit will now have a Hunter's Mark effect of the sort where we they do take increase of damage. They do take the increase of dam. It looks like Zeratul is creeping, getting caught in Taronda's Starfall. Does uncloak him for a bit, but as he goes down into the bottom lane. We do have a sizable push. Zeratul is right here. Oh, he blinked, I guess. I'm going to guess he blinked. And we're just going to be taking down. We do take down a fort. A keep. So now that catapults will be spawning in mid lane. I'm just going to grab this region orb if I can. Going to be stepping out of that. Going to be grabbing this. And we're just going to face melt. Get the movement speed bonus and get out of here. Let's skedaddle. We do pick up the kill on Zeratul who was way out of position. I don't know who he was trying to kill at that point. Are we getting healing? Yeah, we do that 4k healing going. Tazar, don't step in that. Okay, Tazar, just go. Let's go. I, ga I came in there just to help you escape. Not to help you kill people. Looks like Nova does fall. The enemy Nova, that is. And looks like Gazlo is going to be heading somewhere to the Merc camp. Gazlo. And we do catch him mid recall, and yeah, he's dead. That was rather violent. I was about to say, like, if I only capture this more camp over here, I will be doing just that. I am. I haven't died once. Seventeen, no, baby. That's what I like to see. Tribute is spawning in the bottom lane right here. Bottom right. They do spawn right here, right here, and right there. I think we, yeah, we saw them in all these positions. On the top lane, they spawn right there, there, and right in this another nook. So it kind of mirrors itself a little bit. I'm going to be gathering this tribute. Toronto, you don't need to be gathering this tribute as well. I already started it before you. I'm going to get it before you. See, I told you, Toronto. Come on. Come on, girl. Get your head in the game. No one is going for boss. We are here. I will engage. I will agree with capturing this boss. Gonna be asking, activating my face face melt guitar solo. Getting caught in the root as I was reading that. Very unprofessional of me. Uh, there's nothing ETC can really do <laughs> when tanking. All he does is tank. Just keep hitting guitar solo. None of my abilities really will affect the way this boss gets killed. I could power slide into it and do another 207 damage, or I could just keep auto attacking it. It's it's nothing. It's nothing. So we do pick up the boss that's going to be pushing bottom lane. There is a mercenary push with a Osmodon demonic lord mother god guy. Oh bam! Face melting them bitches away. Tribute is spawning in the top. I will be en route. Looks like Jaina is the enemy Jaina that is is already there. She's not careful. Yeah, I was about to say. I will. Oh, the burst from Nova will secure the kill before 
That is a some turret line. Gonna be just fish smelting, catching Gazlo, but I'm tanking all his turrets. None of my team, <laughs> none of my team was in position. What a terrible death for myself. I, I do agree. Looks like Toronto is now going to be slaughtered like lambs. But we do have a boss pushing core, so if they do, so they won the tribute. Damn, they got one. Yeah, I know. It's GG. <laughs> GG, they won. <laughs> it's over. Just gonna be... Go oh, gonna get this. Oh, she is the blink. Sneaky, clever girl. And remember, we do get the movement speed bonus from our abilities. So we could just keep chasing Nova all day. All the way to the bank, even if we miss the... Oh, my God. Even if we miss that power slide. Oh, thank you. Jesus. Oh, that was the worst. That was like the longest Nova kill in the world. Looks like Toronto will fall to the combined forces of Jaina and Zeratul. And now I'm the only one here. They, I did walk through the watchtower, so they know I'm here. They did pick up a second tribute. This is where the comeback is a real, is a real possibility. Oh boy, Gang Force 5 is here. Gang Force, DEFCON, we're on DEFCON 5 right now. We need to like reassemble. It's the bot Sonya. It's only rage quitted from our team. Is there, is there a tool? Okay, I thought you were. What's up? Yeah. Gonna be power sliding out of or just guitar sliding my way out of this. Okay, we're gonna grab the healing fountain. We need to group. What did I hit? Oh, I was I was going to type. I was going to type to my team saying we needed to group. This is where we throw. Are we gonna throw this game? I I don't want to throw this game, but I feel like we are. Etc is on the way. Does pick up? We do pick up the kill on the enemy Nova. Now I will just be telling Jana to get out of here. Get out of here, Jana. As we do pick up this tribute for the home team. One step away from not throwing the game. <laughs> and now we should just be leaving. There's no reason to be here. Enemy team is picking up the siege minions that... They're cleaning up the siege minions that our bot Sonya did collect for us. So good work, bot Sonya. Is it bot It's still bot Sonya. We're going to win with bot Sonya. It's always... It's always... That's a lot of XP. It's 23 levels of experience. This is another long-ass game that I don't want it to be. Just because, well... We, we almost throwed... We almost threw the game a little bit. We should be pushing... Here, uh, Toronto. I'll help you out. I'll help you out, girl. We are picking up the Merc Camps. Now, this should be... If we get a curse here, it should be GG. So... Tributes should be spawning shortly. Tributes do spawn a lot faster when there hasn't been a curse. So when they're... There we go. There's the next one. When there's a curse, it they have like, it's like a minute waiting period. Or something. It's a longer waiting period for the next curse to spawn. Or for the next tribute to spawn. But if it's like a tribute already spawned, and then there's a, the next tribute will spawn a lot faster. So we don't have to worry about long in-between wait times. We will pick up this pretty much uncontested since the en enemy team is dealing with a lot more bullshit. From us, we do. They are cleaning up minion waves and all that jazz. They, we do have a curse on the enemy team. We should just be pushing. We're gonna pitch, get the boss, and push core. That's what the, that's what the game plan should be. And that's what we're gonna do. I will be taking over his tank, Tassadar. No worries. I'll take that. I, I'll tank it. All right, as our team stands in the vines. Remember, as the game does go on, the vines get a lot stronger. From the bosses and stuff like that, especially um, in Garden Terror, if you're not careful, you can get eaten alive by those vines, especially if you have such low health as Nova or another assassin type character. We're gonna be BAM! Power sliding, but it didn't do anything much because Tassadar's Psy Storm was in the mix. Oh, this would be a perfect time. Gonna be. I do die though. Didn't do much. 
Looks like Bot Sonya is going to take it upon herself to win us this game. I don't dis I don't disagree because she did get us Merc camps that like took down their core. Sonya, you could kill her. Sonya, you could kill her. Ah, oh, I wish Bot Sonya was smarter. You would Ancient Speared onto her, stunned her a little bit, and then you would have just spun to win. Looks like she will die though because she stood in the damn <laughs> in the damn vines. Looks like this is going to be GG as Asmodon is the only one left. He won't be able to do much. Oh, Sonya came back just in the nick of time as we do win. And she can get all the XP. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a happy Champions League today. It's Chelsea versus PSG. And Shakhtar versus Byron. Go Shakhtar, go Chelsea. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. As always, leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh, we almost have the ETC portrait and the mountain variation. Oh, my God. Well, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.